I just had something coming in the mail. It says here, uh, release the happy. <sighs> What's in the case, you might ask? Let's see. Press open and... Oh, oh. Look at what we got here. So I rented three lenses. This is the uh, Lumix uh, 12 to 35 uh, from Panasonic. This next lens, the really girthy one. This thing is huge. Uh, this is a 10 to 25. Third lens. This is actually looking significantly smaller than I had anticipated. Uh, I was I was thinking I had in my mind it's going to be a huge lens. Whew. Okay. This here is the legendary uh, Sigma. 18 to 35, the whole idea uh, behind uh, the rental of these lenses is to test and literally put each of these three lenses uh, against each other um, in a battle of autofocus testing. I'm gonna make it part of this video. Uh, the common focal length here is uh, one uh, from basically 18 to 25 millimeters, right? So, uh, but, this is an 18 millimeter APS-C lens. These are both micro four thirds, 10 to 25. So this is really a 20 to 50. This one here is a 24 to 70. And this one here is uh, 36 to 70, right? Uh, if you do a 2X crop, this with the meta bones and this native is essentially the same focal length. Um, actually, no. This is 12 to 25. Uh, so three lenses, three similar focal lengths. Um, so it'll be fun to see. So why don't we try out? <laughs> My boy is uh, making some noises here. But let's go ahead and test out the autofocus right on the Lumix right away and see how that plays out. The first lens test that I was doing, got some creepy stuff going on in the background there. Bam. All right, so essentially, uh, the idea is to test, I'm going to do the classic test for autofocus by walking in and out and close. Right now, this is uh, the Sigma uh, 1835, stopped down all the way, uh, and I am not, am I in focus? Okay, I am in focus, all right. So I'm going to do your basic, like, all right, you know what, we're in, we're in the scene, kind of step out, right, come back into the scene and does it capture my focus and i'm sitting i'm waiting i'm waiting i guess it doesn't capture my focus so <laughs> and nope nothing not yet i mean i can see the box the the crisscross eye, eye uh, face detection box but um all right so if i go back though uh is there a difference did it catch me now the reason i'm putting the background stuff there is because if i want to be using this lens uh, then i want to be able to make sure that uh, it's able to capture all of that but it it seems that when I, whenever i uh i guess it captures it every now and then oh that's cool so while it's an autofocus i can literally grab the lens and uh, i can manually focus that uh now th there we go now i'm actually at 18. there we go so before i was actually zoomed into uh, the full 35. Now let's get back to get to 18. Uh, so again, this is still autofocus test. The thing that I wanted to mention uh, was maybe he's talking. Uh, so these are the, these are my two workhorse lenses, right? I got my uh, Tokina uh, 11 to 16. Nope, no focus, right? And I've got the uh, Canon uh, 17 to 55. Both great quality lenses, uh, but they don't autofocus. And I, mainly, uh, mainly because I have an old Canon EOS M. Now, this is great if you're going to use Magic Lantern. Uh, but it's interesting. I can even see that the uh, that the uh, iris or the lens was moving back and forth. But um, now this is a great setup for Magic Lantern and stuff, especially these two together because you get the 3x additional crop on top of the 1.6x, so it's almost a 5x crop when you're doing two and a half k raw using the Magic Lantern. Uh, but uh, now the thing is, when I'm doing Magic Lantern, I'm manual focusing the whole thing, um, going filmmaker style. But if I'm talking about vlogging, um, it's going to be a bit challenging uh, to do anything of, uh, cause my mind's always on the lens and the camera. So, uh, but I think this is the challenge of adapting any kind of non-native lens to a Lumix GH5 or a G85 for that matter. 
So take this, tilt it forward a little bit, boom. So this way, um, if I walk backwards, I'm still kind of sort of in the frame. Tilt it down a little bit more, boom. There we go. Now we're good. Uh, so if I wanted to be uh, at least in the appropriate framing, this is what it would look like. Um, I think it's, I guess, I guess it's doable. Now let's see if we stop this thing down a little bit. I'm going to stop this thing down to uh, 2.8 and let's see if I uh, bump the ISO. Can I bump the ISO up a little bit? Let's see, I'm going to bump the ISO up to uh, 800. So now two, four, eight. Let's go to 1600. That's where it was at before. So I bumped this up to 2.8. Let's see how the autofocus does. Now, uh, generally speaking, when it comes to video, I kind of like 2.8. Uh, 2.8 even on a Micro Four Thirds is closer to an F4. Uh, because I don't, uh, I mean, I know a lot of people like the whole blurry background thing, and the blurry background thing works great if you don't want the background in your uh, video. But, so, whereas if I want to showcase the environment that I'm in, uh, or what I'm doing, then I definitely want some of these things to be in focus. This was at 18. Let's zoom this in all the way uh, for me to get a, a, f a full uh, 35 millimeter focus uh, focal length and see how this performs. Um, actually, what I did was, uh, FYI, I changed it out from Metabones into the Viltrox Speed Booster. I forgot to mention that before, because for whatever reason on Metabones, um, on GH5, it won't let me do continuous autofocus. It always tells me switch to autofocus singular. So if we move this back a little bit, um, is it still maintaining focus? And as I come closer, uh, is it, uh, am I still, I think I'm still a little fuzzy. There you go, I think it caught on. I think it takes a moment. Um, now let's uh, zoom this back out. Let me find, what is, what is the 24 at? I like the uh, 24, actually. Look at the difference, right? So if I'm up close, I'm at, so if I'm at like arm's length, right? So this is arm's length. So this would be vlogging. This is 18. And then, so 20, 18, 20, 18, not that much different. Um, and then if I go to 24, right? So this is 24 right here. So 18, 24, 18, 24. Ooh, I love the way the thing rotates. It's, uh, that's the thing I hate about um, this particular uh, uh, lens, focus, focus, actually this brings it back out to 18, right? Um, so the challenge with this lens, this zooming feature, if I'm pointed downwards, it just, <laughs> it, 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 it's gonna pull down. If I point it like this, it comes down. But if I'm like this, you, you, you feel that. It, it's never a, it's never a smooth, um, uh, it's not a smooth zoom. Even the uh, even the focus ring is like it's it's like feel it sounds like plastic rubbed on plastic. On this thing, I love it. It's smooth. And same thing with the focus, right? I can turn the focus, and there, there, there's that appropriate um, resistance, so to speak, um, to the uh, to the ring. So I guess that covers the uh, Sigma 1835. Now let's switch over to 10 to 25. All right, so for starters, I just want to say this thing is extra beefy and girthy. Like, look at this thing, it's huge. It's so fat. <laughs> let's get this thing mounted right up on here. Okay, so we are now on the beefiest lens that I've ever held in my hands. Thing is huge, right? It's like, I. Bam, that's how, <laughs> this thing is massive. Um, so right now I am uh, zoomed out all the way to 10 millimeters and uh, and it stopped down all the way 1.7. So let's see if we were to mess, up, mess around with this a little bit. This is uh, 2.8. Yeah, this is kind of like what I like it out. So let's bring it down to 1.7 and then let me uh, uh, bring the ISO settings down a little bit. Let's get to, yeah, that's, gonna, that's more like it. Okay, so, um, so let's adjust this a little bit, get the framing right, and let's do our basic walking test, right? So if we're in the frame versus stepping uh, back into the, stepping in and out of the frame. And uh, from here, let's go walk away. 
right? Turn back and pow. Ooh, this thing is wide. It is wide, 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 wide. Okay. Um, and auto, right away, I can tell you, this is a lot more responsive than uh, the uh, Sigma 18 to 35, hands down. I can just tell you right now. Um, and so if I come back here again and uh, come over here, the family's starting to wake up. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, I mean, I'm in focus. Now let's zoom this in all the way to 25. Now this right here is the equivalent focal length of about 50 millimeters, right? So before, uh, so let's see if we just kind of step back, see if it keeps me in focus and or if it finds that focus. Um, and then it come back over here, brings me, does it keep me in focus? It does find me focus. You know what, you know what's interesting is I think this, uh, one of the things that it would actually be fun is if I'm doing like a, like a YouTube video, maybe at this focal length, what is this? Uh, so this right here is at 14 mil. So this is the equivalent of a 24 mil. So uh, if I wanted to do like a web show, like, yo, what's going on? I got the TV over here. I can even bring a clicker or something. Um, and uh, that would be the presentation. Now the question is, am I fighting for attention from the television? Uh, and I was, it seemed that I was for a moment there until I found my face again. So now what if I get in front of the TV and then I walk towards the, um, uh, I feel, I feel like I got, it got me a little bit better. We'll see. We shall see. So on this side and I step out of the screen and then I step back into the screen. I guess it needs a little bit of time to find uh, the appropriate focus. Um, now, let's stop this. Actually, it's already stopped um, Stopped all the way down. Hey, it's focused on the TV. <laughs> you know what's probably gonna end up happening is that I'm gonna watch all this footage and uh, I'm gonna be like, yo, this ain't good enough. <laughs> Beautiful lenses, I can tell you right now. Uh, image looks uh, tack sharp, um, but it's probably gonna, because of the autofocus, which is what I'm looking for. Um, I'm going to end up, cause here's the thing, like this right here is prime lens quality, right? That's what it looks like. Prime lens, the prime lens quality. I know if my baby agrees. So, um, I wonder if I were to bring him onto screen, would I have to compete with him? <laughs> it's already, it, it's already grabbing, actually, hey, he grabbed both of our faces and he's got the hiccups. Um, and it's bouncing back and forth. Now, what if I go like this? Boom right and then i come over here it doesn't know nope does it does, does it focus nope does it focus does it focus no nope nope now what if i were to stop this down to uh, 2.8 let's try that focus thing again so baby hmm? back to me together Sad face. Sad face. Come on, focus. We're fighting. We're fighting from the TV. Here. How about now? Nothing? No? Okay, I think we're in focus. Okay, so now let's go ahead and swap this out for the next lens. Okay, so now we are on the uh, 12 to 35, AKA classic range of 24 to 70. So let's go back, walk, television, walk forward again. I think the ISO is a little too high. Oh wait, stop kicking my tripod. Little baby kicking the tripod. And let's see here, let's go back up. Let's adjust the ISO, it's at 1600 right now. Down to 18, 800, boom, visible, clear. And so this here is a 12, uh, the uh, 12, uh, 12 millimeter and what, what do you want? All right, so this is the uh, focus ring and bam. Okay, so this is interesting. So 24 to 70, well, once you get to like 50, this and this is not that much different. Um, so here we go. So actually what focal length is that? Let's bring it down to 25, AKA 50. Uh, so we're here. 
How's the uh, autofocus? Is it? I think it's. This is actually working really, uh, seeming very responsive, right? Right. So let's say I'm here. I walk away, and then I come back again, right? And seems to be just fine. Let's uh, bring this back out to 12 millimeter. Let's do the uh, baby test. Boom. Hey, look. Look who's on camera. Hey. He's like, I don't care. Hey. hey. Look. Yeah. Whoa. Baby in focus. Now Baba in focus. Baby in focus. Right? Now Baba's in focus. No, baby's always in focus. Look at that. The box is actually, you probably can't see it, but the box, but the, uh, the box is around his head. Now, if we walk away, right? And then walk forward again. Boom. Baby's in focus. Yeah. And then Bubba's in focus. Hello. How are you today? Am I in focus? <laughs> He's in focus. Now, let's put his head next to mine. Boom. Yeah. There you go. Take him away. Now I'm in focus. So, okay. Honestly, I really like the uh, um, the other the other lens. Hold on a second. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> he didn't want to be put down. What? Who's wrong? Ooh? Yeah? You want to be carried around forever? I would too if I were your age. Uh, this this lens seems to be uh, performing pretty decently, right? If we were to do the in and out test, right? Uh, forward and backwards test. Now, the thing that I'm most curious about, and I'm gonna do a separate video for that, is comparing the performance of the autofocus of these three lenses um, between the GH5 and the G85. I, I don't know how they're gonna perform, but uh, that's the idea to see. That's gonna be a separate video. So this video's autofocus test is complete. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, between these three lenses, the uh, uh, 18, Sigma 1835, 11, uh, 24, 12 to 35, and the uh, 10 to 25, uh, which one performed the best? Now, keep in mind, I don't know which lens I would actually buy. I know these are all very expensive lenses. Um, that's why I rented them. Renting them was great. Plus, we got uh, at the end of Ramadan coming up, so it'll be fun documenting and celebrating all of that. That's why I rented these lenses. Uh, plus, it was an excuse to, well, the excuse was to rent it because of the holiday. So, that's that, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I'll see you soon.